Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I am very happy that I get to share the Ashley Shelley planner for her 2019 launch with you guys. I also have the monthly notebook planners to also share. So I have not looked in this box yet. We are going to look for the first time together and then I will take it out and get acquainted with it and do some pen tests and then I will come back and film the rest of the video for you guys. So if you order an Ashley Shelley planner, I also have a $5 off code for her signature planner. That is down in the description box. It is Amanda5 and it is good through the end of this year 2018 through December 21st, 31st, 2018. So let's take a look in here. This is the way your Ashley Shelley planner will come packaged in some really pretty tissue paper of like her signature color and bubble wrapped. So it came exactly like this. I've not taken anything out and it looks like the bubble wrap kept everything in place and kept it really nice. And then um, you have a little card from Ashley talking about sharing on Instagram, create your best days. Here are the beautiful planners. So I'm going to get all the packaging off and do some pen testing and get acquainted with them. And then I will be back for the review. All right, let's get into the 2019 Ashley Shelley planners. I picked her uh, watercolor floral and the rose gold. The rose gold coil is only available in this print. She has several other prints. I think four total prints for the year. And so there's the chambray, there's a marble, there is this floral, and then there is an aqua herringbone. The only one that's available in rose gold is the floral. So that's just a heads up. This is the chambray stripe. Let's first get into her signature planner. These are monthly notebooks, and I will go over them in the end. They have the exact same things in them, monthly spreads, but they're in two different sizes. And we will talk about that at the end. Ashley has been able to reduce her prices this year and she has passed that on to her customers just with being able to print in bigger volumes. She explained that she is able to reduce her prices and she is passing that on to her customers and not keeping that for her. And I think that's amazing, um, growing a small business and doing that. So this planner is only $44.95 and I have a $5 off code down below my description box. It is Amanda5 that gets you $5 off um, any one of her signature planners. This is her signature planner, the big full-size planner. It is a six by nine planner. It comes with the um, metal corner protectors. So these are rose gold because they match the rings that I got, but the others will be silver matching the silver rings. On the back, you have a little Ashley Shelley um, emblem there. Ashley Shelley, create your best days. I love her company motto. You will see that brought throughout the creative, the monthly creative spreads in here. Okay, it is a hard cover, a good durable hard cover that is coated. You can tell if you spill water on it or anything else, it's not gonna absorb into it and be ruined. So it's a really substantial hard cover I had her planner last year. Of course, I only used it in my home, so I can't tell you how it is throwing it in a bag, but it feels like it's gonna hold up great. Every single planner comes with this wonderful zipper pouch and one sheet of her icon stickers. That's kind of fun. This price, you get a zipper pouch, you get a sheet of icon stickers, and you get 80 pound paper. We're gonna talk about that, you guys, when we see the pen test. But that is big. 80 pound paper equates to 120 GSM if you're comparing it to other companies who quote in GSM. 80 pound paper is wonderful paper. It's the same weight that Erin Condren uses. Now this does not mean it is the same paper because every paper is different unless it's printed in the exact same factory and mill. The Ashley Shelley paper is not slick. It takes the pen very well, but it doesn't have quite as much tooth as Erin Condren. We will talk about that with the pen test. So your zipper pouch is right here in the front with your icon stickers. You can stick receipts in there, cards, more stickers, anything you need to keep up with, business cards. You have a little pocket here, which is coated in like lamination and really durable. 
So Ashley Shelley also has notebook besties, which fit perfectly in here. Her budget book fits in this pocket. And also this uh, um, 5x7 monthly planner right here fits perfectly in the pocket. I just find it goes in easier if you turn it to the back so the opening is on the inside. That's just me, at least when first putting it in the pocket. But it can hold that in the pocket and the book still shuts perfectly flat right here. So it's not like it's bulging out. This is Ashley Shelley's Notebook Bestie. This one is a lined one. It's beautiful. The cover really holds up well in these books. And she also has an amazing budget notebook, which has a really easy to follow format that I think makes sense for almost anyone. I have full reviews of these books in my Ashley Shelley review from this year, from 2018, and I will link that down below in case you're interested in these books. She still offers these books, and they also fit right in this pocket right here, just like the monthly notebook. All of these books are um, a staple binding. I'm not sure of the correct proper word for that, but it's not a sewn book. But I have been using her monthly notebook from last year consistently and leaving it completely open and stretching it. And if you're on Instagram, you've seen me use her monthly notebook. And it has held up beautifully, just beautifully. Nothing, nothing has torn or come out of it. It's, it's really held up well. So the, um, the cover she has shown and the paper she's chosen are real quality. They, it's held up well because I have put that monthly notebook through a little beating. I can tell you that. If you are not following me on Instagram and you want to see where I check in daily, you can find me there at Amanda's Favorites. So your planner starts off right here and you have a nameplate page right there. And you have some planner tips from Ashley right here. I always like when the creator of the planner writes something to you in the front of the planner. I like to just hear a little bit from them and how, you know, the things that stand out to them in their planner or kind of how they envisioned it being used. Then you get a 2019 inspiration board. Write, draw, and tape all of the inspiration here for the year ahead so you can make this inspiration board however you want it. And let's talk about, before we go any further, I want to kind of show you and tear these off. At the bottom of each page, I'm just going to tear one off at a time instead of two, you have a little perforated corner. And what this is, is a built-in page marker for you. So um, I just tore these two off right here, and I will show you at the bottom of this page, you see that every single page in this planner has that perforated corner. And, or perforated. Yeah, that's probably how you say it. I think I've said that word wrong a lot. Thanks for being so forgiving, you guys. So that is the Every page has this um, perforated corner you can tear off, and it is a built-in page marker. So you can just grab it with your finger and go to the page you're on. I think that is such a nice option to have in there. Of course, if you prefer not to tear off a corner every day, then you definitely don't have to. And your planner will hold up just fine, and you'll barely notice they're there. Like I run my hand over them, they're smooth. But I think it's a really nice option to have in there, and it's unique. Then you have an important contacts page. Then you have a favorite meal ideas page. I really like this. I do like to just have a groupings of, especially dinners that I'm just like, or dinner ideas right here that most time people in my family like, so I can throw them out there. So I love the idea of keeping all your favorite meals written down here for just ideas. Like throughout the year, if you're stumped on lunches or breakfast, you can come back to this page. Then you have your 2019 planning overview, which is just a 12 month spread right here. And of course, you guys have seen, if you're in the planner world, people use these in so many different ways. I use my 12 month spreads in my planner for putting bills that are only due, you know, say one to four times a year sporadically, like HOA dues twice a year, Amazon Prime due once a year, our Audible subscription due once a year our life insurance due twice a year. So all those types of things which come up sporadically, that way I can kind of see which months, you know, we might have a grouping of, you know, a lot of money due and then other months might have none and it just helps me to lay it out and see it that way. It also helps me not to forget to pay those bills. 
you know, in case I'm not getting an email reminder or in case it's not an automatic thing. I love to use mine that way. But many people, of course, you can write birthdays, anniversaries, you can write vacation plans. You can use this as a goal planning page. There's just, you know, there's unlimited uses for that type of page. Then you get a full yearly overview of 2019 and 2020. So this calendar is a, this planner is a calendar year planner for 2019. But you also get a view of 2020, which is nice to have there. And I love when planners have this list. Your 2019 holidays, the main holidays for the U.S., I love this list. Because then I don't have to go look up, you know, what day is Easter on this year, what day is, um our daylight savings times that we change our clocks, spring ahead or fall back. So those holidays that do not just fall on the same day every year, I, I really like having that list here. This is your tabbed page. This is a laminated tab, very heavy duty. And the page that the tab is on is more, it is a card stock. I'll say that, it's a card stock. So your normal paper in here is your 80 pound paper, which is awesome. But the page with the tab is a cardstock page. And it's really nice. I really like, though, how it feels the same as the page that doesn't have the tab. Because they're both laid out right here. And I have used some planners where, where this page that has the tab is made thicker, but it feels different. And this matches the paperweight. Well, not the paperweight. The paper feel, I should say. All right, let's look at the monthly calendar. Ashley's whole planner has these same colors running throughout every month. So you're gonna have the same look for every month. The aqua at the top, a purple heart, your previous month and your next month are in a lavender. Your notes are in a lavender and lavender lines. And then all your days are very lightly lined in a light aqua blue. And I really like that. That's why I also love her monthly notebook planner because having the lines helps me to write neater. I am not a super neat writer, and the lines just help guide me. They actually help me to fit more in the rectangle in each day's box because of the lines. They help me to fit more in there, and they help me to write more legibly in those boxes instead of me kind of going all over. Because no matter how much I try to write straight in the boxes without a line, it's just not quite straight. So I like how she has the light lines there. All of your holidays are noted in the light um, lavender, just like her accent color there. So you can see right here, New Year's Day, and then Martin Luther King Day. So those are the way that your holidays are noted right on the day, right up top near the number. Then after your monthly spread, so your tab is on your monthly spread page, which I absolutely love and prefer in planners for the tab to be on that page. The next page is your January creative spread. And this has changed a little bit from her planner last year. If you used her planner last year, she changed this up a little bit. And I like that she's like always reevaluating and deciding, you know, what would be the best as she feels like she uses it in her own life. And what does she feel like would be the most important to have on this page? I really like this spread because it is very unique and different to most planners out there. Her thing is create the life you love in January. And here are the questions she asks you. And I like how everything has boxes, ovals, circles, pleasing to the eye and, and really easy to fill in. What are you grateful for right now? What are you worried, stressed about right now? What can you do to remove your stress? You know what it is. What creates happiness in your life that you want to do more of this month? I always loved that question in her planner last year when I filled these out. I did not use her planner for my daily planning, but I would actually come and fill these out sometimes because I actually liked the question so much and liked where it guided me and the things that it made me think about. What are you going to say no to this month? Imagine your month ahead. Write a few words that describe how you want to feel this month. Then you have three monthly goals and check off boxes, yay. Then you have a monthly bucket list right here and check off tick boxes and your word of the month or your mantra for the month down here. I just, I really like this layout and all the components that she has in there. You have that for every month. Then you have a double notes page, a two page spread for every month. So she is giving you plenty of room 
to make a monthly list or to write out some even some more monthly goals or write out the steps to a project you're going to be working on that month. It's a two page note spread per month and she has some more notes pages in the very back of the planner. So it is not lacking in notes pages. And this notes page is divided into two columns and then you have one notes page that is just lined all the way across. Then you go into your daily layout. You're going to start this planner on Monday, December 31st because our year of 2019 starts on a Tuesday this year. And all her weekly spreads start on a Monday. So I should note this because it's important. Her monthly calendar starts on a Sunday. And I don't know why I didn't mention this on the monthly. Um, I really like how her weekends are bolded. So you can see the day number on the weekend days on Saturday and Sunday are bolded. And that just kind of makes this stand out to me. And so you can see your Monday through Friday and your weekends are bolded. So that's just another little detail. So let's go look at a weekly spread. Now your tab colors change, okay? Your colors throughout this planner do not change. So they rotate between three colors, the aqua, and then I call it the light lavender, and then like a darker purple um, right there. So that is your color scheme for this planner but the tabs do not make the colors on the month change. Let's go here to the middle where it's easy to see your weekly layout. Okay, so you start on a Monday and you have your monthly word right up here to remind you every single week, what is your mantra or what is your word for that month? It's up at the top of your week every single week starting you out. Your notes for the week are up here at the top of the week, which I personally prefer than notes at the end of the week because it draws my attention to them I usually put items in that, that category of things that must be done this week. I like having them at the very top right there because it's a constant I can glance up there. It's at the top. It's like a priority items or things I want to work on that week. Then on her daily spreads, you have an even amount of space for every single day of the week. Even Saturday and Sunday get an even amount of space. You have a time laid out right here. So you have the double dots for time. So your left side is for appointments and you put in the times and what the appointment is or what you need to do, er errands you need to go to. And then you have tick off boxes on the right side and you have six of those. You have six tick off boxes and then you have a do today and that line stands out because it's done in the aqua whereas this whole side is in the lavender and then a dinner in the lavender. So I'm going to show you this a little bit closer up. Your left side for your appointments are the aqua lines. Your notes at the top are the gray lines. And then your to-do list are the lavender lines over here. And your do today stands out because it is done in the same aqua that's over there. Then a space for your dinner. If there is a holiday that is noted right here across from your to-do list, your date is written all the way out like Monday, May 27th. And your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is on this side with the notes. On the opposite side, you have your Thursday through Sunday. So that's the way all your weeks are laid out. If your month ends like this right here, then your month's going to end on the back of this tab page. And then you're starting June right here. And like I said, this is a six by nine planner. Your pages are six by nine. Let's go to my pen test. I cannot believe I haven't gone to that yet. It almost slipped my mind. I did it up here in January. Her paper's so thick that literally, like that's, you kind of have to sometimes, it's like you tap to make sure the papers are apart. They feel very substantial at 80 pounds. So this is 80 pound paper. Her planner is $44.95. I have the $5 off code down in my description box. Here are all the pens I tested, Papermate Flares, Sharpie Pens, Friction, Pentel Energels, Stadler Fineliners, other colored Sharpies, Pilot Pens, and all of this. That's a Papermate Flare. And if you go and look at the back of this page, I mean, you can not even really hardly see a thing. I did a mild liner highlighter in there also. So 80 pound paper is very substantial and you're not gonna have any problem with any pens bleeding through at all and even ghosting. I mean, you if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even know that I wrote on that page there, I feel like. So it's this paper 
is wonderful paper for the price of this planner. So you're gonna go all the way through your months to the very end and then you get some notes pages. So even though you have notes here in between every single month, like here's your December spread, create the life you love in December. You get your two notes pages, just like I said, in between your months. And then at the end of the whole planner, you get a good group of notes pages here, right here, probably like at least 10 pages, 12 pages front and back. And sometimes just because of the perforated corners, you have the pages might stick a little bit at first, but they will come right apart with no damage. And then the back, you have the signature Ashley Shelley right there, end page. And that is the end of your planner, of your Ashley Shelley 6x9 signature planner. This planner, just being 6x9, just feels more portable than a 7x9 planner. It actually feels much more lightweight than a seven by nine planner. So if you're looking for something that's portable, this feels very light and portable to me. And if you look at this, it's not a super thick book, even though it has really substantial nice paper. It is, it's just a very portable book. Your tabs are protected by the cover coming out a little bit further. And so that's your signature planner. Now let's talk about these monthly notebooks. Okay, so last year, Ashley Shelley only made the five by seven notebook, the monthly notebook, but I'm guessing because this is a product that is not made by many companies at all, it's so popular because it's just not out there much that she was able to make a six by nine one this year. So this six by nine one is the same size as her planner page. So if you're looking for just months, but you need a little bit more room. This exact planner page, okay, six by nine, is in this monthly notebook, but you just don't have the weeks. You don't have the weeks in here. So what the month, monthly notebook holds is a really nice cover that is coated and holds up really well. I told you I used her five by seven monthly notebook this year. I am still using it, in fact, and it is held up beautifully. And right in here, you have a place to put your name on the nameplate page. You have Ashley Shelley. You get a yearly overview in the monthly notebook. You have 2019 and 2020. These are the same pages that are in your full size signature planner. Your 2019 holidays. And then you go right into your months. So you have a month and then you have a lined page in between. You have a month and then you have a lined page in between. I cannot tell you how much I love having just a monthly notebook. It's just easier for me to go ahead and fill in all our family activities and just easily flip from month to month and see a full size view of like what is going on. It's just, it's easier for me to see than in a spiral bound planner and be flipping off my week and looking back at the month. I just, I love having just a monthly only small notebook. So all this is, is all the months of the year, the same colors, the same way the holidays are listed as the Ashley Shelley full size signature planner, but it is just the months. And in between every single month, you have a lined page right there with a gray heart at the top. So this one is six by nine, same page size as her big signature planner. This one is five by seven. So your five by seven, I'll just kind of show you a comparison about what this, you know, side by side looks like. All right, so if we're trying to do a side by side comparison, because I know it's hard to decide sometimes which size you might want, um, you can see the different sizes of the boxes. So if I put the boxes right up to each other, you can look at February 3rd and February 3rd. And you, you know, if you need bigger boxes and you like to write bigger, then you'll want the bigger book. But if you want something small, the lines really do help you write small. They've helped me a lot and it's very portable. It's just a five by seven. You can easily throw this in any purse or bag. I just counted the lines for you guys. So you have seven lines to write on in each box. If you count the bottom line also, you have seven lines to count right on in each box. So you have the same amount of lines. It's just there is a bigger spacing between the lines for the bigger planner. So you'll just be able to write bigger or you might be able to fit, you know, more words per line because it's wider. So that is literally the only difference in these two books.
These books are so affordably priced, and in fact, she's been able to lower the price on them since last year also. I'm not remembering off the top of my head the price, so I'm going to put it in the video right here for you guys. But that is your 2019 Ashley Shelley lineup. I am so happy that Ashley trusted me to share her 2019 line with you guys. If you are looking for even just a monthly notebook, you will not regret this. It's quality and it's something I have enjoyed using myself. All right guys, thanks for watching. Happy planning and we'll see you next time.